Hello, I'm pleased to be here with you today to introduce you to Chad Clovis from CarbonX. I personally am very interested in learning more about CarbonX because the principle behind it is extremely supportive of advancing ESG, environmental, social, and governance principles, and helping to green our planet. So Chad is the visionary who came up with this idea. Can you tell us a little bit about how that came to be and what CarbonX is doing? Thank you for having me today. Uh, the way we came up with CarbonX was kind of an interesting story. We started out trying to offset our industrial, industrial businesses and had a very hard, cumbersome time to do it. So we decided to figure out some methodologies to make it simpler, make it easier, more approachable for people to reduce their footprint in industry. And that's when we kind of looked at it and went, okay, there's industry guidelines, there's an industry offset program. No one's really doing anything with the retail public or the public as a whole. And that's kind of where CarbonX, the app, came from. Uh, the app is being built now. The web app is out. We're in testing module. Uh, should be available within the next few weeks in Google and Apple Play. Uh, the way it's set up is you can download your app, offset your lifestyle, pick a project you want to support. So if you're passionate about planting trees, cleaning the air, cleaning the ocean, pick a project, support the project, and share it on social, showing people that you're doing your part. And so do you have to donate a lot of money or could you chip in a dollar? How's that, how's that work? Yeah, so there's a monthly subscription. Uh, the monthly subscription fees start at $17 and go up. There's also a gifting portion where you can gift anywhere from $1 to $50 to the program. Uh, every subscription goes on a monthly basis or a yearly basis if you want to term up. And the way it works is uh, your money doesn't just go to buying carbon offsets. Your money goes to the projects first. So the project you support, we break off a big chunk to go to the projects. We can keep developing, reducing CO2 with green energy projects, green planting projects, and then a portion goes to the carbon offsetting to offset your lifestyle. Now that sounds like it's a really cool idea. Have you been getting a lot of uptick from your, your prototype on the web app? Yeah, uh, so we launched our web app just basically to do data collection and be able to hone in on uh, trends and strategy and kind of make sure that the app is perfect when it goes out or as perfect as can be. There's always going to be hangups, but uh, the first day we actually hooked 16 people our first day with our web app release. Uh, 16 people downloaded, we got a lot of great feedback, a lot of great data, adjusted a few things on the main app, adjusted a little bit of terminology, um, and yeah, since then we've had another nine sign up, so we're over 25. Haven't checked today, but we've got 25 people going, and when the web app comes out to their direct app, I see a large uptick and a large run. It'll be good. Now you mentioned some categories, you know, air and water and so forth. So if I were to click on one of those, what kind of projects would I see that could attract my interest? So we have three major projects right now. Uh, Heimdall, Silviculture Systems Corp, and uh, Plexus Technologies. So Heimdall is an ocean capture CO2, direct CO2 capture company. They suck up ocean water, split it into elemental particles. Then they actually sequester the CO2 and the acids into sediment. They can release the sediment back into the ocean or they can take it and use it in like concrete to replace aggregate. Uh, very in innovative, very, very, very interesting company, very scalable as well. Uh, Silviculture Systems is our company out of Bolivia, tree planting company. So we plant a baro nut tree, which is like a Brazil nut, and it has a lot of bio waste. It's got big nut husks. So we take the nut husks and we turn them into a sustainable form of charcoal for the local people, water filtration, biochar fertilizer for the tree planting. So there's a two hook there with uh, being able to reduce carbon from planting trees and then reduce carbon from making uh, a sustainable form of charcoal so we don't have to cut down trees. And then the other one is Plexus Technology. So in oil and gas industry, a lot of natural gas flaring, uh, that's 100% waste. So every time you natural gas flare, you're just wasting energy, wasting time. We take, uh, Plexus takes the natural gas flaring, puts it through a nat gas generator system, collects the exhaust, runs it through an EGR system and scrubs it. So it takes it from 100% waste and makes it a 92% efficient power generation. So you can generate power with the waste from the oil and gas companies. That's amazing. How do you identify these initiatives? Uh, the biggest thing we do is we get a lot of uh, email content on people pitching projects to us through our channels. We're very selective what we pick. Um, the project has to make sense in three different categories. So our categories aren't ESG. Our categories are transparency, uh, correctness, and involvement. So we want a transparent project that is clear and easy to understand. 
we want to make sure that it works for the people we're in business with and it makes sense on their side. We also want it to work with the local communities and the, and the environment. Um, the local communities, a good example, with SES we, we hire 15 local Bolivians to plant trees for us. We have three Canadians down there working as well that have been there for four years. And the Indigenous do all of the work, all of the money, and they get all of the representation on their side. So we help support their community instead of just hiring it all out to other international firms. No, that's awesome because then you're providing futures for people as well. Yeah, trying. So I, I understand from uh, colleagues at Power Nickel that you might be working on uh, something directly with them as well. Yeah, for sure. So we came up with a Drill Green initiative for PDAC mostly. Uh, Drill Green allows companies to come in and offset their exploration, construction and extraction of minerals and oil and gas properties. Uh, we offset Power Nickel's explorational drilling program this year. Basically all the emissions created from the burning of diesel on their sites will be offset with clean emissions from our tree planting project. Wow. That's huge. Listen, everybody, you need to talk to Chad. Let's all get the planet greener and let's all kick in to help people live better. Thank you for joining us today at Investor Intel.